Hello guys, as you know, there currently is a deadly pandemic going on and I wanted to contribute to the fight against coronavirus. We are going to make a very, very simple no-touch hand sanitizer. You need absolutely no electronics knowledge or soldering skills. Just follow along carefully and you will protect yourself and your family and make something cool. We are going to need a few easy to find components. First one is a 5 volts adapter. It can be a Walworth type 2, but I had this readily and because it has screw terminals on it, it's going to make my job easier. Next, we need a 5 volt supplied relay module to switch the pump on and off. A single relay is enough for our project. We will also need a 5 volts pump and a fitting pipe. We need a photoelectric proximity sensor. This is an MZ80 also known as E18D80NK. We need a potentiometer to adjust the flow rate of the pump. We will use a breadboard to make the connections and you can use a smaller breadboard than mine. And we will need some jumper wires, male to male and female to male types. We are also going to need a container to store the disinfectant. I will use this yogurt pack, but I recommend using an airtight container to prevent the disinfectant from vaporizing. But my wife is getting annoyed with me, so I will stick to the yogurt pack. I'll start with the connections to the DC adapter. I connect the black wire to the negative terminal and red wire to the 5 volts terminal. Then I connect the wires to these horizontal lines to distribute power to my breadboard. Connect 0 volts, which is connected to the black wire, to the horizontal line marked with minus sign and 5 volts to the line marked with plus sign for convenience. Next, I will connect the sensor. I connect 5 volts to the red wire and 0 volts to the negative terminal to the black wire. Yellow wire is the output of my sensor, which gives output when an object is detected. I make the connections of my relay module. I'm connecting 5 volts to the VCC pin of my module, 0 volts to the ground pin, and the output of the sensor to the input of the relay module. This way, I will activate the relay when the sensor senses an object. Let's give it a try. Next, I will place the potentiometer to the breadboard. As you see, this is a 5 kilo ohms part. I'm using this because I currently have this readily, but I recommend you to use 1 kilo ohms at most to make a more sensitive adjustment. Let's place it. Now, let's get the container ready. I will open a hole in the yogurt cover and put the tube through the hole. Next, I open another hole in the edge of the cover to get my cables out. Then I heat the tube to bind it tightly to the pump. Now I will connect the relay outputs to the pump. Here you have to be careful about these signs. These signs denote that these pins are normally closed. It means that when there is no input, these two pins are connected and the pin on the left is open. But when an input is applied, the middle pin will be connected to the left pin. So we need to make the connection between middle and left. I am connecting 5 volts to the rightmost pin of the potentiometer and I connect the middle pin of the pot to the common pin, the middle pin of the relay output. In the next step, I will connect the red wire to the normally open pin of the relay module then I will connect the black wire of pump to the zero volts. And that's it. Let's give it a try. Finally, I taped the sensor to the heat shrink tube. Here is what our sanitizer looks like. If the pump is too generous, you can use the pot to adjust the flow rate. 
If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments section. Have a healthy day.